success. It's the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. You may have heard this quote before and it's truly a testament of being able to accomplish big tasks by taking it one day at a time, by taking those small steps and compounding over time and being able to reach those goals. And we know this, and yet so many of us, including myself, still struggle in believing the vision that one day I'll reach that point of success. Consistency is absolutely key in anything that you ever decide to do, whether it's working out, whether it's becoming a um, better writer, better communicator, better artist, better anything, consistency always seems to be the best choice. Now that's not just consistency without growth, right? That's still consistency of trying and trying to get better every time. The biggest thing that was difficult for me about consistency was not being able to see the vision, not being able to see that long-term uh, compounding effect and the results of that. And I have a few examples that I wanna share with you um, that made me believe in the power of small steps made every day. Working out, for example, has always been a challenge. It's always been a struggle to, to stay consistent and go to the gym. I lost my motivation many times. I've been working out for the past year and a half, almost two. This is by far the most I've ever been consistent working out without any external factors. I used to work out <clears throat> during high school. You know, I took a class and so there was kind of that forced accountability. It's tough when it's just you, you know. It <laughs> With the example of working out, what drove me to believe in the power of consistency was that I told myself, okay, if I hit one a month, let's see where I'm at, reevaluate, see if I still enjoy it. And if I enjoy it still, I'll continue. And if, or if I'm seeing results as well. Because prior to that, you know, I've said, okay, I'm gonna hit one month and I would give up two weeks in or something like that. And um, this time though, two, you know, a year and a half ago, I actually reached that month. And I was like, okay, this is not bad. I, I actually was able to stay accountable to myself. So I aimed for two months, three months, four months, five months, I was like six months. By then I was like, okay, I'm already halfway there to a year. I might as well hit a year. And then everything after that is extra and I hit a year. The rest is history. The, the biggest thing I realized is you're never gonna see the results when you want to, but you definitely won't see the results if you never try, if you never work on it, if you never put the, the sweat of trying. Another example of this is when I set a challenge to reach 8,000 steps a day. Now, I know that might not seem like a lot to some of you. It was hard, it was very hard, but I stuck to it, I believed in myself, and I really wanted to to increase my steps so that I can just be more active, not just only in the gym, but also just throughout my day. Three and a half, four months later, I have over 1 million steps. And some days it would fluctuate more, some days it would be just barely above 8,000, but that's about 9,000 a day for the past three and a half to four months. And I'm really proud of myself. I didn't believe that I could reach it, but here I am today with over a million steps and I've been able to decrease some of my weight in the in the areas that I was focusing on. Reading, I'm not an avid reader, but I wanted to challenge myself and improve my writing. And one of the best ways to improve your writing is reading. And that's not something that, that I really enjoyed when I was a bit younger, but um, I've come to see the value in reading. I've come to uh, better understand why people love reading. And I saw my fiance doing this, which really inspired me, but it was just setting the goal of reading at least five pages a day. I was like, wow, five pages a day, that's not very much, right? Why, why, why wouldn't somebody just do 10? Or why wouldn't somebody just read throughout to the whole chapter? And I realized that when I started reading and I actually did try to just read from chapter to chapter, I found myself being unmotivated and uninspired to continue reading. And so I was inspired by her strategy of just reading five pages a day and I started that and I realized I was making more progress by setting a goal I knew I could reach than setting a goal that I thought I could reach. And I was able to finish a book that I might not have otherwise or could have taken me slower because of the small efforts repeated day in and day out. These life examples have really helped me believe in the power of just small teeny bitsy efforts uh, and, and how it can transform your future. But the moral of the story is is believing in the power of today. Believing that what you do today does matter, even if you don't see the direct results right away. This has been life-changing for me, 
Uh, it has been life changing for my fitness. I've been improving my writing, being more consistent with my content creation. And it has also allowed me to be more patient in the progress of things. We think that there's more depth, there's more complexity to achieving certain things and while that might certainly be true at least within what we can control we can be more consistent we can continue to try and believe in ourselves everyone has their own path everyone has their own road and mine might not look like a straight shot from here to here but i know if i stay consistent that whether it looks like this or this if i never try i will never know we'll see where it takes me i hope that message resonated with you and uh thank you so much for watching if you made it this far I want to give you a huge shout out to you and you're doing great and i'm looking forward to seeing how far you go and i'd love for us to stay connected you know stay on this journey and i'll see you in the next one i have work at 6 a.m tomorrow or i have to be up at 6 a.m and it's currently 9 50 p.m so i'm gonna edit this video as quick as i can and get it scheduled so that i can have two uploads okay within one week that is unheard of on this channel. So thank you again for watching and have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon. Peace.